here. Yeah, this is just gorgeous. Wow. Which way are we looking? 401k style. Mm -hmm. but instead of the uh I fall in, it's not as funny. Yes. Doesn't look too bad. As do most, I think. <laughs> this one's just like perfectly in the way. here in North Carolina. This is crazy. We're like kind of up on a ridge too. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I think the view is like right up here. This is our view. Oh, this looks epic. Almost got him to 100, or I guess we'll get him a little over 100. All right, got about a mile and a half to the top of this hill. We're originally planning on doing 11 today, taking it slow, but it's like we got to the camp at 145. There's another five mile walk to the next shelter, which we originally didn't think we were gonna do, but full energy today. It's been beautiful, and it's pretty much been downhill since we hit overstanding in the end. So, let's see how we go. My uh left leg was cramping all this week. Now it's switched to my right. My right knee's feeling better. Now my left knee's hurting. And I'm starting to think maybe that since my shoes, I didn't realize how bad my shoes were getting, that that might have something to do with it. So I'm um, gonna try to avoid the weather this weekend and get into Franklin. Um, probably take it a Nero tomorrow, or Hero tomorrow, where we go and just re probably get back out. And then on Friday, Thursday or Friday, take a full like Nero day, do some miles and then get in before the weather gets bad. Stay at a hotel or something. We'll just have to see. Pretty little gnarly section. This next quarter mile we're about to hit is gonna be tough. But getting really high up. Um, last night I think we were at like 40, 5,300 feet maybe? Or sorry, standing in 54, 5,300 feet. I don't remember off the top of my head, but this, I think we're about 47. And uh, we're going up to 52, I believe. It's the top of this one. So this is gonna be pretty tough, but it'll be a short day tomorrow, I guess. I think this is the view right here. Wow. Sorry, I'm sure it's full. I'm coming down this. Oh. It's definitely been one of the cooler parts of trail. Try not to get my feet more wet than they are. All right, it's kind of hard to see, but that is the fire tire on top of Franklin Mountain. Or sorry, Albert Mountain. Why did I say Franklin? Franklin's where we're going to tomorrow. I'm ready for town food. But got less than a mile, and we're going all the way up there. So it looks like, actually, it's probably about a half mile to the top of that, but that is the 100 mile marker, and that's what we were pushing for today. So. Oh, I would say this is pretty, pretty steep. The stairs, not my friend, especially today. The end of the day, but we're almost to 100. That's all that matters. there'd be some kind of landmark for a hundred and there was a blaze that set a hundred on it and then there was it looked like a stick and two rocks but I don't know if that was my head making stuff up I never saw the the whether they're rocks or sticks on the ground but we made it we did 100 miles technically we're at like almost 110 at, we'll be over 110 after a day so going at a pretty good pace picking it up and feeling good feeling real good 
this out there is pretty cool. 16 and a half mile day is done with. Looks even better in the morning. Get your phone out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. There's the lazy hiker. Smile for the camera, Sam. Drop your pack All off, right. Joe. I wish diners were more in the end. forgetting to do the modeling portions but I've been videoing here and there a little bit I'm trying to keep up with it um, today we did well start from yesterday we did uh, 16.3 which is the biggest day so far starting to have some calf pain in my right calf which sucked but went and got some new shoes and I think that was a lot of the issue was those shoes were already pretty worn down so so far a lot of the pain's gone away um, since we got back on trail. We did about three and a half this morning and uh, caught the shuttle into Franklin. Went and did a small resupply to get us to the knock here before this weather kicks in. And uh, got some good food. Went to the Lazy Hiker, got some beer. And it's just been a pretty good day. Then we took the shuttle back out. Um, we're looking at doing about 7.3 just so we can get some more miles in. So as you can see, it's getting a little darker. The weather's supposed to hit tonight. It's probably gonna rain on us all day tomorrow as we're pushing through, and then hopefully the real bad stuff stays away till Friday, but we'll have to see. From the looks of it, um, our group is splitting up a little bit. Some people, or the majority of them, staying in town tonight while we're pushing through. Me, Sam, uh, Trail Brains, which is Joe and Nathan. Oh, I forgot, Sam got his trail name, which is uh, Skipper, which is very fitting. So, um, us four pushing through, and we'll have a nice place to stay here on Friday, which is very exciting. Some nice food, and be able to do our laundry, which will be nice as well. So far, North Carolina, as you can tell, has just been beautiful. Um, the trees are not nearly as thick here. And it's a lot more ridge walking, so there's always views on both sides, but pretty happy we boasted over 100 yesterday. And uh, there's been two like crazy hills or crazy mountains. First one obviously being, I think it's like Shark Tooth, Shark Tooth something. 
coming into North Carolina, we'd always heard a lot of people saying, you know, welcome to North Carolina, now climb. That was very true. That was a tough hill. Had a friend that we met day two who got a trail name called, he's now Llama. Uh, Cause he was yakking and spitting up that hill trying to go quick. And then yesterday we did Albert. And standing Indian was pretty big, but the switchbacks on it were smooth, so it was really nice. But Albert yesterday, it was just straight up. It was like, we just had to actually climb, which was really fun to be honest, but it was also really tough at the end of a 16 mile day. So by the end of the day, we'll have done 11. And uh, well, we we'll coming up on these ridges around the corners and seeing everything. Um, that'll put us in good position. And uh, wanted to at least keep doing some bigger miles instead of doing like three and then heading into town. Felt like we had more energy to get some more stuff done today, so. <laughs> Another waterfall. Let's see what this hill. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Tough climb, but this makes it this makes it worth it. Oh my goodness. Wow. A little fire tower up there. Go check that out. I've ever seen anyone take video up here. This is really cool. These trees are sweet. <laughs> Oh, it's chilly in here. Beautiful day for this view, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's Albert. Is that is Albert this way over there? Yeah, I think it's the taller one there. Yeah. Two days getting all the way here is good stuff, man. It's tough getting up here. Definitely not a fun day start to day 13, but this is pretty incredible. <laughs> this is really cool. This is so worth it. Hard to see, but those three peaks there, at the very tippity top of the middle one is a fire tower. That's where mile 100 was at, so in two days we've gone all this way. All right, day 13. Don't even remember if I, uh, probably saying this a lot, don't remember if I did any monologuing yesterday, but yesterday was pretty good. We, uh, you know, did a few miles and went into town, got some food, really enjoyed that. I think I said that much of it. Um, but going into shelter last night, I know I didn't get any footage because we did probably 11 and a half total by the end of the day which was, you know, pretty decent day. Wasn't too terrible, but it was just kind of a weird feeling where we were getting to camp. There are two different ways into camp. And we said, you know, let's go this little bit extra further. Doesn't look like it's too far. And, uh, you know, that way we don't have to walk the extra bit in the morning. And we're like, cool. Well, that second path involved you going all the way up to the top of the mountain. And then the second path down into camp, um, wasn't like a, I guess you could call it a hiker path. It was like a drainage ditch. So it like literally killed our knees coming back down into camp. So it kind of ruined the day. At the very end of the day, we didn't get in until probably 6.30, so it was already getting dark. And then today, um, doing, I think it's 12.3, somewhere in that ballpark, because we're gonna try to make it to the knock. In the morning before all this cold rain, officially it blows in, it's starting to kind of rain now, but, um, the first, well, we had to reclimb back to the top of the mountain 
So it's kind of pointless of us doing the extra a little bit that morning, or yesterday. And so we reclimbed to the top, and it's a nice little ridge walk down. And we hit a, we hit a mountain that was like 1,000 foot of elevation gain in like less than two miles. And immediately as we started going up, realized that like our legs were not as energized as we had originally planned or thought or hoped. And then, you know, we got that crazy view, um, which definitely raised the spirits to get to the end of the day. But we're like less, I'm probably less than a mile from camp. And I stopped to take a break just because this is another 700 foot climb to get to camp. And just tired at this point. Not a terrible day but definitely tired. I'm ready to get to camp as this rain is starting to come down more. About to get wet. So hopefully I can get into the shelter and snuggle up and get some rest tonight before we hit the knock tomorrow. Oh, I made it. Looks like they got a fire going too. You gotta make sure it's in a tree. Now the trick is you gotta secure Tree it. first. Oh, you hung Joe's bag? Look how secure that oh. is. You put it in a tree. Oh, I, I thought we were looking over there. No, that's, that's the Boston that's the bear Boston hang. Bear hang. <laughs> yeah, it's got a rock on it. It's in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me how a bear could possibly get through that. Oh, my God. You got to investigate. It's beautiful. If you want to learn how to do it, you're talking to the inventor here. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you that at the, uh, at the Amicalola <laughs> Visitor Center. That's Look, so funny, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna be hard for me to beat that picture I took of the night before. Almost to the top. Maybe close. So I say, man, how much further does this go up? I looked up in the sky. The fire tower's right there. <laughs> I'm sure Sam's somewhere up there too. 4,500 feet. Oh wow. 4,500 feet? 1727. That's a big drop. So, Pretty great view this morning though. 2,800. Show how high up we are. <laughs> Clouds everywhere. Sun's coming, coming out a little bit. Ooh, that wind. these storms do man a little bit of parkour to start the day parkour 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 it's guitar and the trail no longer continues <laughs> holy cow oh no it's a loose oh my gosh It looks kind of eerie with the clouds, man. Yeah. yeah, they are not high above us. Nope. Oh, yes. This is crazy, man. Yeah. Oh. Just look all around you and it's just gorgeous. like a terrible place to cross the street. It's like a, what do you call it? It's like a mirage. All the way up in the mountains. Beer, food, laundry. We made it. This place is cool. There's that famous like little playground area. Freaking gorgeous. Ooh, 
What are you going to do? Do it for the ground. That looks like a lot of fun. That would be cold, though. You've got a key. All the gear spill just auction off his stuff. <sighs> it is a luxury. Got the air out the tents. They're going to be nice tomorrow. It is shower time. Freaking gorgeous back here. You don't think that's a cat there? I need it to turn around. What is that? Hi, you little guy. Oh, he's looking. That is a groundhog. What's up, buddy? Hey, <laughs> what for a all right, what's up everyone? We have made it to the NOC and it has been pretty cool. Um, we've gone, it's been about seven days since um, we stayed in Hiawassee. So it was definitely a big stretch. I was doing the calculations last night and I think as of yesterday, in the past four days we had done 52 miles and that puts us at like 63 and a half or so in the past five days. So we're definitely doing bigger miles. And uh, I noticed while I was editing, I'm working on the third video right now. And as I was working on it, I noticed that like the monologues and I haven't been recording as much as I would like to. And uh, there's a few reasons for that. It's just, you know, we're doing bigger miles and <laughs> Um, honestly, it's it's gotten really tough, um, but we're still determined we're doing good. I got a lot left in me, so don't worry about that. I just wanted to say sorry, at least for I'm not sure how this vlog's gonna, the fourth one's gonna turn out, which is this video is gonna go in. So I was just wanting to shoot a little video here, but the yeah, the NOC was really cool. Um, I wanted to say thank you again to everyone back home. Um, contributing to some some faraway trail magic. I think we got Kathy, Suzanne, um, Rhonda, Deanna, um, Linda. We've got uh, the McAllisters who gave me a little bit before we left, and then the Martins who uh, you know paid. They wanted to pay for my first pair of shoes before I left. So um, it's just been it's been really cool. I mean, we're two weeks in and we're still kicking it. And yeah, I just, I, I definitely wanted to say thank you again. Um, it's been, it's been pretty incredible. I didn't really think um, going into this that so many people would, would uh, be enjoying kind of like hiking along with me in a way. So it's been, it's been pretty neat. Um, I don't think, I then we had some pretty cool footage from earlier today. Um, those clouds kind of opened up and just really, it was so, that was probably the best view. Every time I say like, I think this is the best view we've had so far, we go another day and it's just incredible. So um, definitely having a lot of fun. Definitely a lot t more exhausted this week, but body's gonna adjust as we're uh, going into the Smokies next, uh, be in Fontana probably on Monday night and then hitting the Smokies early Tuesday, just depending on weather. So um, that'll be pretty cool. Don't, I wish I would have got more footage at the NOC. I'll probably have some more for tomorrow or that'd probably be going in the fifth vlog or whatever you want to call it. But um, Joe or Trail Brains is stepping off. So um, we kind of caught up to him before we hit the knock earlier today and uh, wanted to you know, slow down our pace and hike with him since he, he um, is dealing with some, some back issues and stuff and can no longer continue. And it's really unfortunate because we, I know Joe, if you're watching this, um, we, we really do love having you at camp and you're a lot of fun, man. Like it's been a, it's been a pleasure getting a hike with you. So definitely really sad about that. So we've been spending our last night with him. Um, Deanna uh, had paid for our dinner. Um, so that was, that was really, really cool. And got to spend some good quality time with, with him before he left. So, um, so yeah, uh, once again, I want to say thank you to everyone who is watching. Um, Sorry once again if I if I haven't been getting the most footage, but I'm I'm trying my hardest. Um, as we're pushing bigger days, I mean we're our pace is picking up, but we're still like the other night we got in the camp at like uh, probably seven and it was already getting dark, and then you know we've been kind of running around doing chores all day today, so it's just how it is sometimes. But I really do appreciate everyone watching and love y'all. Um, hope y'all enjoy the content that is to come. I appreciate it.